Well, hello there. You join me in the Celtic Sea, and it's been a busy few days. Last night were, was absolutely dreadful at sea. No sleep whatsoever. It was a constant rolling all the time. Uh, the night before that, we were leaving port, and uh, I was down in the engine room at 10 o'clock, and I got out of the engine room at about half past 12. <clears throat> and uh, by the time I got to sleep, it was two o'clock, and back down the pit at 6.30, so not much sleep then either. But yeah, we've, um, we've had a hell of a time in port. We've, we've been so, so busy. I just haven't been able to come out and do some um, vlogging. Uh, so there's, uh, there's young Arthur down there. He's, <laughs> he's just putting the barrier across. They've just been fishing. <clears throat> uh, anyway, we've had um, plenty of problems our, at sea as well. Um, but yeah, it was, it's been quite busy, so I do apologise for not being around for the, uh, what I was going to take some more pictures of um, Swansea from the ship um, with my big steels camera, but never got around to that. But anyway, so yeah, we've been uh, slowly circled by these gannets. They are quite big birds, really, and uh, I've seen a, a gannet eat a whole herring uh, and they're quite big fish so let's turn you around and so you can see what's happening here because I can hardly stand up right right so this is the sea at the moment we're just turning around try and sort out this gimbal there we go just turn that around a bit so you can see a bit more of the deck, not so much of the sky. Yeah, we so we've got a couple of these um, these gannets flying around the ship, and a few of the seagulls. I don't know what they are. This one's got black tips to its wings. So that's us back on course after doing a little fishing trip. Uh, you can see I'll take you over this way you'll see our wake as we're turning around. So we, we can turn around on the sixpence. With the setting sun over there, it's getting off about half past five in the evening here in the Celtic Sea on our way to do some proper research. Yeah, we've... Um, We've also discovered, turn you back around again. We've also discovered, back in the, back in the shade, uh, we've also discovered that we've got uh, one of the big trawl winches is broken. So we're getting the parts on Friday. Um, yeah, they're coming, so that'll be quite good. We'll get that fixed. It's just a break. We've got an air brake. Uh, the air brake stops the winch from turning, but we do have a mechanical brake and it's a mechanical brake that's broken so it's not a, not an issue at the moment but uh, if we lost the air that means it it will just keep paying out and we'd have to find some other way of stopping it which we do with ropes and stuff anyway uh yeah so that's this is it this is our tuesday um yeah i really did mean to come out and <laughs> do a few more videos just turn you right around to get a bit of sunlight in the background yeah we did um yeah, I did plan to come out, but as you know, things never quite go to plan, do they, at sea? Tide and time wait for no man, as they say. Um, yeah, so I've got my... Um, no, if you see, I've got my dead cat on. So he'll uh, I'll keep the wind off. But boy, is it been rough. Last night was so rough, I just couldn't, couldn't sleep. I very rarely, uh, very nearly, didn't have a shower this morning because it was so rough. I, uh, we had a calm patch and I, I dived in the shower and I got showered quick. And, but for breakfast, nah, I wasn't going down for breakfast. It was too bad. Would have been chasing the cornflakes all over the table. Uh, anyway, so that's about it then. It's, uh, we're back at sea on a Tuesday. We got just under two weeks. I got 13 days left before I come home. So we'll see what that brings. Okay.
Well, I'll catch you all on the next one.